What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. You already know the dizzle, or do you? You may not know. I don't know if you do or not, but if you do, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, because you're part of the dizzle now. But I've been trying to make videos for the last week or two, trying to get the good days to come outside and get some of that vitamin D's. You already know where I'm going with that. But uh, yeah, the Equipment Defender has been on my trailer the entire last season and all this winter. I didn't get a lot of snow, I got a lot of ice and a little bit of snow. So we're gonna check it out, man. We're gonna see how the Equipment Defender racks did holding up through the winter. Let's check it out. Got a little bit of wind coming in, but we're gonna start off by talking about the uh, backpack blower rack, which is a very, very awesome piece to have on the old trailer here. And by looking at where the uh, blower sits is like the only wear and tear I really have on this. I thought I was gonna get a lot of rust out of some of these moving parts, but I'm really not. I'm excited about that. Even back here, I got no real rust. Moving parts, moving parts. Let's check it out here up at the lock. I got no rust up here. All winter, half of my stuff would have rusted by now. Got a little bit of scuff on the paint where this goes up and down, but that's gonna be expected when you have metal riding up and down. Uh, even the locking system for this, which is on more of like a bushing locking system, still is locking really, really tight, which is good. It hasn't really worn down or anything, but let's check out these trimmer X. Same with the trimmer racks, a lot of the moving parts. I'm not seeing the rust that I thought I would have been of this just kind of sitting outside. All my uh, little latches and everything are real springy. They all work really good. Little bit of rust working on the inside where the trimmer slides in, but that's metal on metal. That's gonna be expected. But yeah, man, I'm not seeing much of anything on this. Everything looks really good. Let's check out where it's mounted to the trailer. Inside, the trailer now still not really seeing much of anything usually actually these are bolts that we got from feldman's yeah well, those didn't even come with it we had to get different bolts to mount this because i have this curl up here at the end so those bolts i guess weren't uh stainless or whatever the hell it is it doesn't rust because those are starting to rust a little bit but that's not even their bolts that's bolts we bought um yeah that's all holding up really good with all the spacers and stuff we had to put in there yeah, dude, it's just those bolts, and I'm not seeing it run down the uh, trailer really at all. So that still all looks really good. Even down where it's mounted to the bottom, everything still looks really good. I'm Danny Lanier. Ooh. You know what, Randy? I'm sick and tired of these brothers out here telling me that the equipment defender is not up to their standards. It's not strong. It's not durable. Well, let me tell you something, brother. One of those guys comes up to me, and I just want to kick him in. What's that? Yeah, I run equipment defender. What's up, man? Green Touch? Ain't nobody know what Green... Where's Green Touch? Sounds like an STD my grandma got back in the Great Fair in like the 1920s. Say it! Say it! Say Equipment Defender's better! Everyone knows! Yeah, you're gonna think Equipment Defender sucks when my elbows are Green Touch in your face! Randy! Randy, get him off me! Randy! But when it's match on and it's game point, it's time for me to turn into the ultimate Danny Lanier keyboard warrior. Come on off here. Come on, Benny. You can break. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It just ain't gonna work. So if you guys get a chance, make sure you go subscribe to Lanier Lawn Care. That's my dude, man. Danny Lanier. Subscribe, he's shooting for 6,000, folks. So if you guys are out there and you're looking for some new products for your truck, man, I love these Equipment Defender products. 
I've had nothing but good things with them, and I haven't had any issues. They've done what they're supposed to do, holding my equipment, keeping it locked up. I like the different options of whether you want the key lock or combination lock, which I might go back into combination lock just to eliminate some more keys off of me for sure. But if you guys check out the link in the description for Equipment Defender, use that affiliate link. It helps me out a little bit. And if you use the code cut and clean, that's what it is. Use code cut and clean, and you will save yourself also 10%, which is a pretty cool deal. But yeah, man, I haven't had any problem with these. Leaving these out, which they are easy to take off and put inside. It's as, as easy as unbolting a couple things and throwing them inside so they don't get wear and tear on them. But uh, they're holding up to the weather just fine. I'm just going to probably leave them on here all mounted up and locked up and ain't nothing going to happen. So yeah, man, I just wanted to let you guys know kind of how these held up for an entire year and through the winter getting snowed on and iced on. I think they're doing a great job. So like, comment, subscribe, guys. If you were interested in these racks, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions. Appreciate you. See you in the next one. See, man, there's just something you got to realize, and it's that equipment defender is just better. <laughs>